installed in her heart, which was not removed properly because of the manner in which she left the hospital. I'm joined now by Jeff Gold. He's a former prosecutor. And Deborah Blum is a trial attorney. Welcome uh, to both of you. Jeff, what do we need to know about this legally? Well, why, why did they do it, of course, and why aren't they talking to the police? You know, the dad gave an interview to the Today Show, the mom talked to Hispanic Radio. Why aren't they talking to the police and just quelling the, the fears that the child's okay? You know, dad uh, put, the, put the phone to his ear and said, hey, I'm speaking to my wife and daughter now. They're fine when he spoke to the Today Show. Well, mm -hmm. why not let the, the police speak to the mother and find out if the daughter is okay? They skipped they skipped out the day before they were supposed to be released. The child was supposed to be released. Why was that? Let's find some answers yeah. out. I mean, Deborah, one of the big issues here, obviously, is parental rights. This is their child. They voluntarily brought her to be treated at this medical facility. Uh, you know, but, but you also have the issue of the prior infection and whether or not the parents are serving this girl or whether they in any way are endangering her. Well, just quickly to speak to what Jeff just spoke about, I believe that people do fear the authorities. As many of my clients will tell you, the authorities will contact them and say they want to speak with them, and then they end up being arrested. Mm. So that's why the parents might not be speaking with the authorities. The parents do claim that they're treating their daughter, and this comes down to the issue of whether they are properly treating their daughter, and they say that she's receiving medical care, and also... Are, were they acting in her best interest? They were very fearful. It seems that they had a daughter who had her arm amputated, mm -hmm. and they weren't getting answers. So they thought they were acting in her best interest. Yeah. Was it prudent? No. But does it mean that they committed a crime? This is their child. Yeah. It, I, I mean, that, that's, that's the big issue here. And your heart just goes out to this poor little girl. As you point out, she's already had her arm amputated. You can see, you know, this little child in the middle of the screen in that black t-shirt, and you just wonder what's going through her head. Uh, and it, it raises so many questions, Jeff, but I, I don't know what, I mean, what's there in Mexico. I don't know that there's anything that anybody here on this side of the border can really do about it, is there? Well, if there were charges, but there needs to be an investigation first. I mean, what's the problem right now is, is apparently they left the day before. The, the child had a catheter in the heart still. The, the question is, is the child safe? You know, if the authorities said, oh, she's safe, she's in the care of another doctor, maybe in another hospital now, I don't think anything would happen. The problem is the questions that have arisen. Why did they do this? It appears to have been they were afraid of the bill. I mean, it yeah, was a that, huge... that's an important issue to, to, to bring up, and I was just going to mention that. The father said that he felt she wasn't getting the proper care and that the bills were rising and rising, and that, you know, that, that it, is telling it, uh, well, as well, it is it not? Martha, it wasn't the proper care in the sense they did this the day before the scheduled yeah. release. But they might they not just have didn't known. want to they... sign it. One second. They just didn't want to mm. sign any papers or do anything as to it. You know, when, so you're when... just saying they skipped out on the bill. Well, they didn't skip out on the bill. They had insurance. Apparently, they covered it, but the hospital was pressuring them. Whatever the reason mm. was, they sort of let the doctors properly check out the child. Right. That's the, the parent's responsibility. We but don't know if this is criminal, the but they should have done that. The doctors were doing the right care. Mm. They felt that the doctors weren't giving the correct care. And also, mm. if they informed the doctors they were moving their child, they know that it would have taken a long time before they actually had the it ability was, to remove their child. Deborah, it was the day child. before. That's but all I'm saying. They it was the day that. before they skipped out on the hotel bill yeah. right Boy, before. Boy, there's a lot of tricky questions going around in this one. Uh, thanks very much Thank to you both for trying to get at some of it for us. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it. And ultimately, we hope that girl's okay. We sure do.